Island, also known as Great Palm Island, or by the Aboriginal name Bookerman, is a tropical island situated approximately 70 kilometres north-northeast of Townsville. Palm is the main island of the Greater Palm Group and consists of small bays, sandy beaches and steep forested mountains rising to a peak of 548 metres over the 6,000 hectare area. The island is home to one of the largest Aboriginal communities in the state with a resident population of about 4,000 with an average age of 24, 13 years below the Australian average. The original Manborough people and the 64 tribal groups living on Palm Island have a long history of racism and oppression against them. In 1914, the island was established as a government settlement and, over the next two decades, some 1,600 people from 40 different Aboriginal tribes and language groups across Queensland were removed by the state government and taken to the island. Academic papers have noted that the destruction of Indigenous Australian culture has resulted in ongoing grief. Despair and confusion, including the disruption of traditional gender roles, especially for men, cultural values and pride, disruption of kinship networks and support systems, and confusion of people forced to balance between two often irreconcilable cultures. This video endeavours to demonstrate the culturally constructed framework shaped by the Palm Island Community Company Diversion Services, in particular the Men's Gathering Program, designed to start the conversation with the men on Palm Island to encourage them to share their life experiences and to utilise their cultural knowledge as a source and means of healing and empowerment. Registered as a company in 2007, PICC is a non-for-profit organisation that enjoys tripartisan support and contribution from the Queensland Government, Palm Island Aboriginal Shire Council and the Palm Island community members with a board of directors that are made up of representatives from these partners. The model through which the PICC structure is implemented provides the ability to link service delivery across community, government and individuals with a coordinated, integrated approach. For the past five years, PICC has continued to develop and roll out programs and services designed to support and strengthen the social and cultural fabric of Palm Island. A key program targeting males is the PICC Diversionary Service and the Men's Gathering Program. Myself and Frank Conway um, linked in with um, other services such as mental health, probation, parole, um, correctional services, uh, also um, ATODs and the police services. And joining um, together to uh, start something such as a, a men's gathering. We started this in late 2009 um, and it it's been a success story being at a different part of the community, having a barbecue, having a yarn, um, and having people, you know, come in and and, and um, let a bit of steam off sometimes and talk about some of the issues that need to be um, addressed and, and fixed uh, within the community. Yeah, well, it's, it's totally up helping men in. Um, being, being honest with themselves and letting them know um, there's no one else to blame. Um, there's, there's no one else to blame but themselves with, the, with wanting to do something. Um, and um, just to help them develop, help them develop some sort of 
pride for the for themselves uh, to find their way again. Uh, all the men have been lost. Uh, they have um, they have been down and and not um, there's no support. So it's all about having them get that support and be recognised in the community again as fathers, as men of the community. This program has grown to be very successful thanks to the hard work of staff and the focused, tailored and personal way it's delivered. We start off with two, two guys, went at bush, sat down, had a cup of tea over a campfire, had a yarn conversation and it's the screw from there. There's about 300, 300 and 330 something registered. Um, we do get groups in um, each Wednesday. We have a, probably a different group tomorrow night to the last group. So um, the main focus of having guys to realize there's a space here to um, I don't know, talk about issues, how to fix it, how to better the community. Not a perfect community, but a better community in certain you know, circumstances with um, gathering the information. Palm Island Diversion Services works with people on Palm Island who are vulnerable with complex needs, and particularly people who are intoxicated or at risk of misusing substances in public spaces and or are at risk of entering police custody. My name is Mislam Sam. I'm the program manager with the Palm Island Diversionary Service here on Palm Island. Um, I'm both of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander descent. I think the Diversionary Service plays a pivotal role in Palm Island community, especially with the men on the island. Um, we've got three forms of uh, programs that we focus on, and which is the Alcohol Demand Reduction Program. Um, that's where we open our office doors up from 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. Uh, the second one is our Adult Patrol and that's servicing the community for 26 hours per week. And the third one is our rest and recovery. So whatever we pick up on the streets or wherever, anyone in trouble at a time that may be a bit intoxicated, we'll take them in and um, look after them for a while. The men's gathering is, I, I, I like to think of it as the flagship of all our programs. It's, it's a, it creates a space where we get everyone sitting around and everyone's on equal terms and we discuss things and issues in our community and work out ways what we can do. Um, getting away from the boredom factor, we, we seem to, um, you know, boredom seems to lead to a lot of um, unnecessary things in our community so we just want to get the men taking ownership of their problems and working out what they want to do rather than dictating and setting up programs that maybe you won't get no attendance. Also, we've got camping grounds starting to be um, developed as we speak, and also arts and craft. We've got our health and fitness gym that's um, in our shed that we like to call our men's shed, and it's on similar concepts of our men's sheds right around the nation of Australia, and um, creates a space where you get men in both elders and young, and they just sit around and talk about stuff and work on ways that we can better our community. And at the end of the day, that's going to put a, you know, it's going to lessen the extent of alcohol consumption and drug use if we get the men involved in doing something proactive for our community where we actually give back to our community and um, start doing things that it's going to better us and better for generations to come. Oh, every Wednesday we usually have our men's gathering. Um, we get close to 20 to 30 men here on every given Wednesday. Um, usually run from about 5 till about 10 o'clock at night. Um, we chose those hours because we wanted to include some of the workers, um, get them involvement in our men's gathering process. And um, and with the current climate at the moment, it's, it's a better to have it at night, especially in the tropics. Well, I, I would like to think that um, through our men's gathering and all the other programs that's derived from it, um, we can start doing more proactive things in a community that's going to better it in the way that, um, you know, we're always judged on some of the bad stuff that's over-exaggerated in the media and they paint a bad picture of our island. It's actually a great place to live. 
a beautiful place. You couldn't find the most friendliest people on in Australia. And um, we need to work towards, you know, increasing our participation in anything that goes on in our community. Because if we if we continue down this track, somewhere down the line, you know, we, we, it's going to create jobs. It's going to create a you know a better island. And we sort of like to judge ourselves on if we're doing all this with all the men, getting them up in, involved and all the other stuff, you know, getting away from welfare dependency. Um, we'd like to think, and it's a main topic in all our men's gathering pr programs, that, you know, welfare dependency has created a next generation of people that's lazy and we need to get up and do something. We started off the health and fitness program where every man had to go to the hospital and get a health check because at the end of the day uh, most of us men in our community we sort of only go to the hospital when we really need to and it's always too late. So we're looking at doing proactive stuff and rather than reactive stuff and getting, getting, getting our men involved and taking ownership of their problems but also ownership of community problems where we work towards a better day. There are three key service areas. The first includes a community adult patrol, where the purpose is to reduce the risk of people becoming involved in activities that could lead to contact with the justice system, either as victims or offenders. The community patrol operates every night except Monday. The second is the operation of a diversion centre where the primary goal is to reduce the incident of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander deaths in police custody. The diversion centre offers a safe, monitored environment for people to sober up as an alternative to being held in police custody for public intoxication offences. The diversion centre provides flexible and responsive 24-7 care and appropriate support. The third is about reducing demand and this is where the men's gathering program has had so much success. The gathering has created a safe and shared space that promotes an active process of cultural renewal and spiritual well-being. It encourages the interaction and learning of elders. It provides cultural pathways for men to examine their position in the community and to find leadership among themselves. It also helps to examine the connections between indigenous spirituality emotional well-being and good health for individuals, families and the Palm Island community. The men's gathering facilitates and supports them to start the conversation. Via a range of on-the-ground activities which aim to reduce alcohol-related harm to the vulnerable community members, the program includes contemporary and traditional arts and crafts, including things like traditional wood carving, bushwalking, sports, fishing, personal development, music and participation in TAFE courses. Yeah, I help the uh, guys in the get men's gathering for, um, help them do a lot of cooking on Wednesday nights. Uh, they get me to make a lot of dampers and stuff for them. They have a lot of traditional tucker. We um, cook up like goat uh, turtles and stuff and a lot of scones and dough balls and whatever, coconut damper. Stuff like that, I help out a lot. Of bushwalking on a Friday afternoon or Friday mornings if we can. Take our young fellas out and show them a lot of. Get the young people if we can to show them how to make spears and stuff, you know. Yeah, show them all the traditional stuff, all the traditional, how to traditional hunt, how to hunt. Try to keep it on, you know, to our younger people. I like, we like to show the younger, younger boys, the younger children how to make spears and boomerangs and stuff, we cut out a thing, didgeridoos but mainly we go into the scrub and they call, they got a handle, a spear handle that's called dural it's a language named dural Get them out of, gets them out of mischief a lot, yeah it's good to come with us elders Yeah, I'm Frank Conway and I um, run one of the programs out of the Virginary um, music is one of them and yeah, through our discussion through the um, men's gathering we found that uh, some of the younger fellows who, who uh, participated in the circle uh, wanted to learn some music instruments and stuff like that. So we sort of uh, looked at uh, 
participation first and numbers, I suppose, just to get equipment. Um, yeah, it comes from the older followers, I suppose. Um, most of them now is sort of uh, getting older and wanted to um, sort of pass the music on because music was a big part of not just only this community but every other community. And then Palm is known for playing music. And um, some of the older ones now wanted to sort of pass it on through the, through the men's gathering as, uh, and part of this program status sort of come about with the music side of things. Well, since we started anyway, um, it was roughly around five we started off with. Now it's grown up to sort of probably 20 at tops. Yeah. Yeah. It's like about, about four or five different groups play on the island. Yeah, so um, we get a good little turnout on the spring festivals or the uh, Nadoc week, yeah, and everybody probably chip in to play whatever instrument if um, someone's not available. Uh, music is a big part, like I said, and, and, and it, it, some fellas has come here just to um, use that time and space to sort of get some of their talking out through the music too as well. So. <clears throat> I used to play a little bit before, not as much as I play now, but uh, it just come about with, as far as with the, with the, with the young fellas that were playing, and then we've got another older fella <clears throat> does the rhythm and lead and stuff. Yeah, we just come up just practicing and stuff like that. But for my thing was to, um, we don't come from Palm. And I, and I hope people was taken away from their countries and stuff, stuck on Palm. So <clears throat> sort of like, we just sort of ride around random sort of stuff. If you were sort of looking for us, then we're, we're going to be on Palm. Uh, we just started up a new cabin and stuff. Uh, trip to the island, cleaning the old scat camp up <coughs> that uh, they used some some years ago, where they took kids out for scat and stuff like that. <coughs> There's a shed there that now we're trying to uh, rebuild it, I suppose, uh, and just sort of like taking blokes over there where they can have input to uh, probably uh, get away from the island <coughs> and uh, actually do something positive. <coughs> Work with others that are bored and, 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 and uh, put skills together.
brother, it's a good idea that we got this camp over here uh, to re re rebuild and restore our community folks of coming here and, re and rebuilding their family relationship together with their kids. Our, our culture is slowly dying, but it's easy to revive, uh, our, revive our spirit within ourselves to having to do some of these programs what we did before maybe traditional knowledge uh, with Phil Oba talking about history of our, our, our custom our, our, our tribal people last 12 months ago I think 12 months we went to visit the prison <clears throat> and which made me think then want to be in a prison but we had a population of <clears throat> 25 years and under was the highest group in in the prisons. And not much of our elders are in there no more. They either passed on or they were released. And it's sad to see a young population uh, incarceration. It's so high still in, to this day. But like Levon saying, um, partnership with the partnership with the Correctional Centre and other other services that I think we can work together and get some of those young fellas up back on the right track. I mean it's just probably me and you and oh, brother the you know the, we've been on we've been on the right track and we jumped off the rail and then we lost we lost a lot of stuff when we jumped off the rail. We got too far caught up in drug and alcohol uh, domestic side of things um, neglect, we, you know, it, it, it had to, it had to come to a point when we have to wake up to ourselves, and we don't want to see our kids going through it because this is a hard life. Um, lucky we pulled through it with with the help and the support of our elders. Mm -hmm. um, what we had left, we've probably been the last, last, um, last of us who had that sort of knowledge from our. From our elders, um, and you know, that's why the passion that we have passion is, you know, for other for other people in the community to see all their falls, um, just to give them some tools to help yeah. lift it. Yeah. Just keep on building, having fellas to keep coming forward and 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 getting into those, getting into their own programs, their own structure. We'll have groups of guys to clean up one area for another campsite we'll have another group on the other side um, talking about one of the other islands out of islands talking about building the stone wall there against wall of the cemetery where our, 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 our people our, our family's connection was sent there for leprosy maybe put a plaque up there on phantom um, probably build barbecue camps around the sites uh, utilize the place more often um, and you know be passionate about the islands um, for what we got here but also that give us a bit of a clean out to understand where we want to be we want to be here we want to be there also we want to get back to country and this is the starting point yeah that's I like the one you say we'll go back to country because <clears throat> we don't like we said uh, we're not from this place, but <clears throat> our ancestors have been sent here, and we can only do so much things around here. I suppose going back to country and getting a full what's the name? I think we can deal with that on a spiritual level, and I think we've got a good spiritual capacity to 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 also go back, get our kids back into our mainstream education, and I reckon it'll work side by side. And <clears throat> out of prison, you know, and there's laws on both sides. And then, and if you follow your LORE, um, it should cancel out your LAW. Importantly, the program is created by the men for the men, so is relevant, participated in, and engenders real and generational change in the community, which is spearheaded by Palm Island men. For more information on PICC, including the men's program such as our diversion services, visit www.picc.com.au.
www.ngo.au